today we'll discuss a competency roadmap if uh, you're having a team definitely uh, you'll have a focus to move their competency from level one to level x how you do that you should have a very solid competency plan and the competency roadmap for it now today's video we are going to discuss very key things what are those four key things you have to keep into mind while you're building a competency roadmap there are four key things any competency plan you make any competency roadmap you make for your team there are four key items which you have to keep into mind while you're building this plan so we'll discuss one by one all those four items right now if you see i'm sharing my screen here this is a completely editable version of the competency roadmap and the plan slide uh, this editable version is placed on the sale path the link is given in the description section you can download it from there you can edit it you can use it for your own uh, creating for your own competency plan now let's come back on this competency roadmap what are those four key things which you have to keep into mind while you're building a competency roadmap and the plan so very first thing the first thing what you have to keep into mind is your focus area out of four the very first thing is focus area for example for this video i have taken azure devops and java agile from process perspective artificial intelligence this could be different for your it landscape technology landscape process landscape i've just given a few samples here you can change it which is fitting to your context but then you have to tell what are my focus area that should be very first thing you have to cover in your competency plan you should see down here i have also given up uh, icons for example as your devops i have put icon for get and your pipeline Similarly for Java, Azure OpenAI, Python. Why this is important? Because the visuals will have a long lasting impact to your audience. So try to supplement, add icons here. If you change the technology here, add icons accordingly. That will be a very much important for your slide. Okay. So focus area is the one thing you have to tell into your competency plan in the roadmap. Very first thing. What is the second thing? Second thing you have to tell how intense your competency plan and competency roadmap is because it is important. You want to move your team competency from level one to level X. That means your plan should have those details around it. The content of the plan should be very solid so that you can tell to your management, to your leadership that by following this plan, I want to move my team competency from level one to level X. So there could be different stages. You want to do some training as part of basics. You want to do something as an intermediate and then as an advanced. And usually for basics, uh, if you go across organization, across team, there are a few basics things you will do. A training on Udemy, a LinkedIn, a company will have their own learning portals. You want to do some instructor-led trainings and you want to do some basic certification. For example, for Azure, you can do AZ-900. For artificial intelligence and machine learning, you can do AI 900. So these are the basic stuff you want to do for your team to start on something. And then you move to intermediate level where you do advanced level certification. You want them to do uh, hands on. You want to do uh, them some exercises, coding. Uh, if you talk about Java, it's a coding and deployment. Uh, if you talk about AI and ML, it will be a, a training existing model, doing some certification like AI 102. So intermediate level will be a more than basics. Basics they do some training and intermediate to do advanced level of training and do some hands-on. And then you come to advanced level. For example, if I talk about Azure DevOps, they should be uh, able to do a continuous integration, continuous deployment. They should be able to implement this with Azure pipelines. They should be able to define and design their release strategy. As a Java or database uh, specialist, you should be able to design your application, architect your application, right? Do some end to end implementation. So these sort of training you have to uh, put in your advanced level. So this is some sample content I have put here, keeping this technology into mind. But when you're building a plan for yourself, clearly articulate what you want to cover in basics. You can also mention some course IDs here if you want to, if you have those course ID or uh, subject IDs, you can keep it here uh, to make it more realistic. Keep a plan in an incremental way where you do some basics first, then you do intermediate, and then you do advanced. That's how you make a competency plan for your team. The content you can change is a simple placeholder. I put some competency and some placeholder here. You can change it. 
So we covered two things. One is my focus area in a competency plan. Second is uh, how intense your competency plan is. You are covering basics, you are covering intermediate, you are covering advanced. The third thing which is a very key aspect of your competency roadmap and the plan is schedule. If you look at the top, I am giving a date here that when you want to start, when you want to finish for every single uh, competency uh, technology you have chosen or the process area you have chosen. So make sure schedule is there because that's how you have a definite date to start and to end. So that's the third thing. The last and the fourth thing in any of the competency plan you should have is your goal. If you look at the bottom, I put some sample messaging here saying that my focus is to upskill my team across domain tools, process and technology with a defined target of competency level in eight years. This is a very, uh, this is just a sample message. You can change it based on your context, but it is always important that you conclude your slide. So you said, what is my focus area? You said how intense my training plan is. You gave a schedule and then at the bottom, you have to give some message to your audience. So that's a takeaway for your audience. If you keep these four things in your competency plan and roadmap, that's going to be a perfect one. I have another version of this slide. If I go next, it's a little bit different than the previous version. Uh, if you see, I have added more icons here. For example, for database, I have added MongoDB here. I have Azure Repos icon I have added here. Some incremental uh, uh, model training, I have put an icon here. So this is a little bit different than previous one. You can use this one. There could be a possibility that you are making a plan where you don't have basic, intermediate, and advanced. You just want to cover only one plan covering everything. So I also added one more slide here uh, in this way where you don't have any uh, beginning and then intermediate and advanced. You just add uh, you know, only one level and then you can add your uh, text here and then your uh, bottom message over here. So this is also completely editable. All three slides are completely editable versions. You can use either of these slides. These are placed on the share path. You can download from there. So we discussed competency roadmap, a competency plan. We discussed what are those four key items to make a competency roadmap as a perfect one. Okay. I have other videos also on the program management. If you have any questions on my other video or if you have any questions on this, uh, please do uh, text me in the comment section. Do share feedback and I'll be happy, uh, more than happy to have a dialogue with you. Thank you very much.